for the African Union Commission, being a continental organization responsible for policy guidance, advocacy, and political mobilization, um, one of the challenges that we find is um, having a good knowledge base. Um, and we have to have evidence to be able to, to guide policy formulation and strategy formulation. And so my call is for um, a more research uh, to generate the knowledge that we need to, to guide our, our, uh, our interventions. Um, and again, that research has to be context specific. Uh, youth that are in countries which are landlocked have different issues from youth that are in countries that are not landlocked. Okay? Youth in countries that are urbanizing very fast have issues from those that are not yet urbanizing as fast. So how to uh, craft policies and strategies depends on the specific environments within which those youth find themselves. So as the Commission, therefore, we need to have evidence based on context-specific research to make policies and interventions. That is one call that, that we are making. Um, the second one is specifically to agriculture. We want to make sure that we are supporting countries to revise or update their national investment plans, capturing issues of the youth within those investment plans. Because as you know, again, implementation is at country level. Okay, It is not the African Union or the EU or the region. It is countries to make those investments. So our role is to make sure that the, the, uh, the um, priorities of the youth and opportunities are captured in those national investment plans. And resources are, um, are uh, allocated by member states for implementation. The third and last issue I wanted to talk about is again the role of the African Union Commission as mandated by our heads of state is to track and report on various indicators around the Malabo Declaration and one of those is on employment for the youth in agriculture value chains and what we are noticing is at country level they have weak data systems to collect data around that indicator for us to be able to report. So again, we are calling on partnerships for improving data collection systems at country level to make sure that we get the right data of right quality to be able to report to the heads of state on the progress that we are making on achieving that target, which they set, they set in the Marabo Declaration in June 2014. One, um, with regard to um, national investment plans, in, uh, revising them or updating them, we need their financial support because it takes mobilizing countries, you need to hold meetings, you need to, to, uh, to, to mobilize experts who are going to work to support the member states. So resources to help us um, with domesticating the Malabo Declaration into national culture investment plans is important. Two, Again, supporting member states to improve their statistical systems, okay, to be able to collect data. Um, so part of it is capacity building to make sure that we capture the right questions into national survey instruments and also supporting the actual uh, surveys that take place. So it's only when those uh, governments or member states have functional uh, data systems to be able to collect and analyze data can we be sure that we shall be able to, to track uh, and report uh, on the problem that we are making.